we could also make comparisons of profits, and I, I know this has been done, um, but that would also not really provide anything meaningful in, in terms of uh, information that is relevant for public policy purposes. Um, telcos, on one hand, represent a mature industry with a stable demand. There will always be end users that need internet access and are willing to pay for it. They have to. So the homogeneous nature of this uh, industry supports competition and that limits above normal profits. But there's no reason why telcos, the telco industry, cannot produce fair profit margins for, it, for its investors. End users, if they demand internet access services, will have to pay for it. So this industry structure is, is, is very different from that of online services. Here, the investment risks are much higher. And when looking at profits and comparing profits, we tend to focus on the current winners among the online services. And they may not exist in 10 or 15 years. So think of MySpace that was very popular 15 years ago, and nobody uh, knows MySpace today, um, unless they are very old. Um, so this is not to say that there are no market abuses by big tech that drive the high profits. That is certainly the case, I think, but these prop problems have absolutely nothing to do with the difference between telcos and big tech, whether we look at capital expenditure or profit margins.